This is the 170 pound weight class. Looking to get their first win as a professional fighter. Standing five foot, two inches tall, fighting out of the Carolina combat. Please go up out of the red corner. John the Singer. I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I wanna be the greatest Everybody on the face shit I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest I make this every day and I'm impatient Hoping one day I blow up from the basement Statement, the top is so vacant I don't need shit that I think is amazing Waiting for my day when I'm playing Sold out shows for a thousand faces Hey, give me that crown Get in my way and you'll be put down It ain't your place, all this my town If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit A stupid myth, you choose to live or choose to dip You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift Oh! I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign I feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign Yeah! There's no mercy in this world, just hunger, thirsty persons in different versions. I thought the difference was that uh, it's Kendall Morris that fought this fight, that Kendall would want to keep it standing, especially a lot in the clinch. Don't know how. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, they <laughs> Representing Revolution Martial Arts, here comes Ernest Robinson, finally after much ado and a long storied amateur career, he will be making his pro debut at the ripe young age of 45 years old. Now, I don't know a lot about his background, but did he have a um, hard time getting fights or anything like that coming up? I think that he kind of got to that point where he wanted to go pro as COVID was hitting. Huh. But he's had more than his fair share of amateur fights. He's definitely, in my opinion, ready for this test. They call him Dirty. Dirty Ernest Robinson in the cage. Five and six as an amateur. Well, I think the uh, previous, opponent, previous opponent, opponents include Miles Belt, Truckon Carson, Mike Lines. So he's fought quite a few guys that I would call pretty good. Let's pick Mottinger. Let's slip and rip. Mottinger's fast, man. He's, he's quick with it. And like we said, he's got a varied attack style, right? He can, he can kick, he can punch, but his sh biggest strength is definitely, in my opinion, in the grappling, as any true Carolina combat sports athlete presents usually. But the one thing that he has in space that most of the other teammates he has don't have is those straight line side kicks, spinning back kicks. Some of those more traditional martial arts techniques he, he seems to have either a history with or an infinity for. This is the classic battle between the two grapplers. Mm. Both guys physically capable. Trying to outwork one another here. 
I actually think on paper, this matchup may favor Ernest a little bit more than the Kendall Morris fight. Mm. I think Kendall Morris is just a little, I would say a little deadlier. And being strike heavy. Yeah, right. exactly. They will turn into it. Nice. Just, hold, just held on a little too long to that to that rear naked choke attempt there. Nice single to the back. Good knee to the head. Yeah, pro rules are in effect, ladies. Elbows and knees to the head go here. Nice strip. Strip right to the crab ride by Motzinger. Motzinger on the back now. This is where he's the most dangerous. Going to go with a wrist ride to control the hands. So far, Ernest, Ernest's defense, he's got his head he's in the right place. He's doing a good job. He's sitting out. you got to be careful when you sit out not to give away the mount. Motzinger's grapevine, that outside leg. Trying, he's trying to prevent the complete escape. Robinson's already, already beat him around the corner. See, Robinson very smartly switched his angle. Nice. That's a big mental win for Robinson, in my opinion, to be put in that position and to get out. You gotta win little battles. Oh, that was right on the money, buddy, let me tell you. I saw that one, it went straight into the cup. Take all the time you need. Two minutes and 15 seconds on our fight clock, but Josh Motzinger can take up to five minutes. Can't talk to your corner during a timeout. It's weird how most people don't understand that rule, even after they've been fighting a long time. <laughs> or that rule, that was, that's in my opinion, one of the most largely ignored rules in all of MMA, especially at the amateur level. Yeah. And even if the, the team, uh, even if the fighter can hear the team, it, the team is not supposed to fight. Right. But I'm pretty sure every team has worked out some type of head nod, thumbs up signal to get the next instruction. Yeah, or you could just talk. You know, it's not, I mean, look, I mean, he's literally talking right now and no, nothing's happening. <laughs> Ponce Nebius isn't even saying anything. You know, once, um, I had a fighter and um, I coached from the, the crowd. I just let somebody else work the corner <laughs> and I coached from the crowd. Hey, I'm behind the rope, bro. <laughs> Here we go again. I think you're right, uh, that little battle. And he's got a little bit more confidence now. He's initiating the striking, closing the range. He knows he can get back up when he wants to. So. Ooh, good Big spinning back fist for Motzinger. He's on the good, attack now. And a good counter hook by Robinson. Yeah, Robinson had a nice little hook there. Robinson closing the distance. Catch the uppercut for his trouble. Little telegraph on that on that level change. Throws it across the arm on the high kick. Nice block by Robinson. Now what's happening? He's allowing Motzinger to, to start the engagement over and over. He's got to interrupt that. That rhythm. Nice. It doesn't have to be killer. It is just enough to get your attention. Oh, oh a big knee. Motzinger sends the flying knee up the middle. He's having no problems adjusting to these full rules. That was a 12 guy. 12 to 6. Yeah, you want to be careful with how much you complain about that elbow because your man's in top position now. <laughs> Mott Singer in control of the action as we head down the stretch in this first round. Big difference that two minutes makes in these pro fights. A lot more time to make a mistake. He's trying to drop the elbow of his own. Good shit, uh, nice elbow. Yeah, Motzinger 
adjusting very, very well to the pro rules here. Tries to do a float over pass. Robinson wise to it. Ernest has got to, he's got the clacker going, but Ernest has got to work his way back up. Strong finish here by Mott Singer. Yeah. In a close round, I think that was enough. Well, the problem is, is that it was a round with a break, and he's starting to fatigue already. Well, like you said, short really fight for Mott Singer, but that did not stop him from but getting it right. started uh, really fast battle. and early here with a, a lot of more big strikes. Now. Including a nice spinning back fist, playing a couple good straights. Ernest Robinson did not shy away from the fight at all, though. He was able to oh, there's that big spinning back fist. Ernest Robinson was able to land a couple of good shots there, too, but I feel like the grappling sequences, both in the middle of the round and at the very end there, dispel a lot of momentum for Josh Motzinger so far. But I will say, Ernest Robinson doing a great job. Doing a really, really great job in terms of the grappling defense, for the most part. But Ernest has got to do the make the adjustments in the round coming up. Is go back to what was working for him towards the latter part of round one, that he was able to strike, initiate the engagement, but don't look to rush. Don't you don't have to jump in and close it. If, if uh, Moxie was going to cooperate and back up, just keep doing that a little bit, little bit, little bit at a time. Build the house. Stepping into that side kick again. He's really good at sending that down, right right down to the ribs. Big shot from Robinson. He got a nice straight on that exchange. So all he has to do is just keep doing that. Just Josh is backing up, letting him cooperate with him. But he's got to be first. Mm. Somebody's bleeding. I'm not sure where that blood's coming from. Oh, there's it from Robinson. As it's Robinson's side of Robinson's head. Wow, he's really leaking. Early in the round is Motzinger on top here. And he's played Robinson. Robinson recovers to guard. Open, now close. So look for Motzinger just look short shots. He's probably aware of the blood by now. Short shot and just keep Robinson on his back. Yeah, He's that, that cut could become dangerous if he doesn't keep it constantly defended here on the bottom. Cause, right. You know, Robinson can elbow from the bottom here. Right, and you see him starting to try to post uh -huh. and pop the elbow. He's thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, but as long as he keeps swimming that hand on the inside and controlling the back of the head, he should be relatively safe. He should be a pretty living. solid frame. But the more you worry about the, the, the head and the shoulders, Nice step over. The go behind is there. Oh, Ernest on a nice little, on a nice Kimura trap. Yeah. He's actually used it to escape the bad position. If he if he can't roll him, he'll at least be able out of the back control. He's trying to tap that on to no avail. Great, great job there by Mott Singer to recover the position, not get rolled by that Kimura. And now the pass should be there. The, when the hips come off the ground, the pass should be way easier. I'll tell you what, for a guy who's not. Oh, Josh Massinger might be looking at Americana here. The guy who's not super active off his back. I think he's got some sneaky little yeah. movement. Old man grappling. Yeah. That's what I call, I mean, I, I'm, I grapple the same way. I, I wait, I kind of give people the position they want and then make, and let them make a mistake. He tries to go for a Peterson roll. Oh, but flattens out. himself out. Oh, I like the spiral ride. Spiral ride from Motzinger on the far leg prevented the, the sit out there. And he's got that spiral ride in again. He's working some ground and pound. He's bringing the pressure down. He just went from 10 degrees to 100. Yeah, this is a truly professional ready Josh Motzinger that we're seeing. Even taking this fight on short notice, I'm really impressed by how his game has evolved since the last fight I called for his. And I think he's listening to his corner. They are admonishing him to finish this in this round. And even if he doesn't, he's going to weaken Robinson to the point where round three is going to be 
around that he could basically take off and control and actually demonstrate some striking if he wanted to. This is it. it they, want, they want him punished. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where you do it. You posture up here where they're back against the yes. fence. But honestly, I, I, I can understand why Mott Singh is so hesitant. Every time he leans forward, the position gets worse. Chop block right there. Yeah, great block. Ernest Robinson really struggling to deal with that with that spiral ride. You can see Josh's arm digs into that leg and that thigh and just prevents him from spinning out or sitting out, which has been a reliable defense for him so far. He's gonna sack the hips now out. he's going to sag him out, pull him in, suck the hips in. Wow. That's constant pressure. Constant pressure. Elbow, oh. big elbow inside close for Mott Singer right here in front of us in the booth. He's starting to break. Yeah, he's definitely starting to break Robinson here. Now he's on the back fully. Flattened him out. He might survive this. He's got 30 seconds. He might survive this. It's hard to finish guys when you're on their back. Honestly, guys just have such good defense here. It's the first thing you learn how to defend when you get into grappling because this is where everybody takes you. When you're new and you don't know anything, people are constantly taking your back. Kind of flat to a good grip. I like this. He's switching to like a uh, chair sit sort of, or he's threatening it anyway. Oh. Yeah, great round. Good. Now Robinson bleeding. Hey, They're trading blood here. What we do. At the downtown Marriott. The hurt business. We're in a fight. Mm. Somebody's bleeding. What we do. I'm not sure where that blood's coming from. See right here these little well, yeah, yeah. That Robinson I, it's in the Robinson side side of Robinson's head. He's almost controlling the round. Well he's fighting at a uh, sparring pace. Like he's kind of you know how some guys get in there and it looks like they're sparring where they're kind of letting people go? Right. That's what I'm getting the impression of. Like he does his move, his exchange, and then he like kinda of waits. Well, I'm, like, just, I'm really talking about not just the pace, but how he's able to control the distance, but then he rushing himself ah, to shoot okay. the clock. Yeah, I see. He, he, he does a good job of controlling the distance, and, and Masi is cooperating, but then he charges all the way in. So I think that cut was in the hairline of Mott Singer. Yeah, it's right, it's right above the, um, it's right above the temple, inside the hair. Oh, big shot for Mott Singer has unfolded. That was right on the orbital. Hammer fist for Mott Singer. He's flattening out big time now. That's it. it. Josh Mott Singer with the KO in the back foot. Oh my goodness. What a finish in our first. Pro fight of the night. Round three, hard fought fight for both men, yeah. but it's Josh Motzinger with a super accurate sniper rifle like punch. Outstanding. Let's see that again. That was outstanding. Ernest turned like he had something in his eye, but I think it was a good punch. I think it was right on the eyeball. That's one of those things you get with these little gloves. That sting, that sudden shot. Fighters to the center of the cage. Your winner by referee stoppage in the third round, fighting out of the red corner, Josh Hotsinger. Getting his first win as a professional fighter. Congratulations to Josh and Carolina Combat. Big win for Josh Motzinger. Super proud of him, obviously, like we said. We've seen this young man from the beginning of his career now making his debut as a pro and victorious for that Carolina Combat. Sports and Fitness team. I know Big Zig is happy about that one. Brian Battle looks elated in the corner. So this must have been a cat rate at 170? Yeah, I think because of the um, short notice, yeah.